श्री सर्वानंद हनुमान जी ऑनरेबल बिशप विजय राम श्री जोरम थावे जी ऑनरेबल चीफ बिशप अरुणाचल प्रदेश श्री पेमा खांडू जी ऑनरेबल चीफ बिशप त्रिपुरा श्री विप्लव कुमार देव जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ आश्रम डॉक्टर हेमंत हेमंत विश्व शर्मा जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ मेघालय श्री जेम्स के शांगमा जी एंड ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ नागालैंड श्री नोइबा कोणू जी ऑनरेबल वाइस चेयरमैन ऑफ नीति आयोग डॉक्टर राजीव कुमार जी रेस्पेक्टेड श्री अनिता कान सी ऑफ नीति आयोग रेस्पेक्टेड मैडम रीना तो लो प्रेसिडेंट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव यूएनडीपी रेस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर महेंद्र पी लामा चीफ इकोनॉमिक एडवाइजर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ सिक्किम एंड डिस्टिंगेड गेस्ट प्रेजेंट हियर आई ब्रिंग वार्म इप ऑफ स्प्रिंग ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम द पीपल ऑफ सिक्किम फॉर ऑल द डिस्टिंगेड पार्टिसिपेंट इन दिस सिग्निफिकेंट कंक्लेव ऑन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन ऑफ इंडिया दिस कंक्लेव इज ऑफ ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस फॉर ऑल द एट स्टेट्स इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन ऑफ इंडिया एज दिस प्रोवाइड अज ए यूनिक अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मॉनिटर एंड इवेल्युएट आवर एक्चुअल स्टार्टअस इन द एचीवमेंट ऑफ एस टी डी एस दिस ऑल्सो फोर्स ऑल ऑफ अस ऑन ऑन वन सिंगल प्लेटफॉर्म टू अराइव एट ए कंपेरेटिव पिक्चर इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन अप्रोचेस एंड स्ट्रेटेजीज वाट इज ऑफ फेमेंडस वैल्यूज दैट वी नाउ हैव अ रीजनल स्पेस टू लर्न from each other in the region and from the rest of india also monitoring and achievement of the sdgs have become very vital both because the fields sectors and issues involved are so cross cutting and <coughs> interdisciplinary these are actually core in our development dynamics it is equally vital as the traditional five year plan has been discontinued and the constituent state now have a huge degree of autonomy under the cooperative federalism mission of the honorable prime minister of india sri narendra modi for a himalayan state like sikkim sustainability is the most crucial basic and central issue in any development intervention our sustainability depends upon how we negotiate with the environment of nature and biodiversity how we harness the natural resources and what method we use to build infrastructure and other development amenities it also depend upon how we treat and revere our mountain that is and ancestors protect our traditional institutes and cultural ecology and innovate on our implements and instrument and definitely what we pass on to the younger generation in terms of value resources and traditional knowledge there's nothing new in widely used modern concept and jargons like catchment area watershed management gene pooling and connectivity and also herbal and organic all this has been an in a intimate part and deep practice across various societies and communities in the highland with dear indigenous and organic names the challenge today is therefore to adapt to the tools of modernism including technology and frontier sciences without dislocating our well experimented strategy much before the united nations announced the basic needs approach and then mdgs and sdgs we develop monitor our own sustainable development indicator we produce a lens of reports and help education environment biodiversity and water almost 20 years back we were the first mountain and northeast state to produce it produce the human development report wherein sustainability was the key theme it was declared a model report by the UNDP today we have relatively much better status in sdgs achievement in the latest report of un niti aayog on sdg index sikkim's score of 65 in much higher than that of 
overall India score of 60. We occupy 7 position along with Goa among the committee of 29 states. In almost all the 16 sustainable development goals, India indicators 2.0, our performance across goals is handsome and substantial. In fact, Sikkim is the third best state in overall improvement, which recorded seven points increase during 2018 and 19. However, we do not want to be complacent in the next 10 years. We would like to consolidate further. Nevertheless, we also witness serious disruptions and dislocation in our development process in the last 25 years. Haphazard development of hydropower project with state as guarantor of private loans lead to state debt burden of over rupees 20,000 crores. For us, we have the highest per capita debt burden duty. A chain of dependent power producer without any past experience and expertise were brought to the state. This injected huge environmental cost. A whole range of traditional institutions were demolished. Diversion resources to highly unproductive sector became the role of the game. Abandonment of all the norms and established system gradually crept in, posing huge threat to the entire issues of sustainability. Massive leakages of development resources took place. This is very clearly reflected in the institutional in inefficiencies, bureaucratic lethargy, utterly poor maintenance of the asset, and other physical infrastructure like roads and bridges, more seriously, this resulted into a strategic in inequality. We are fully aware of our underperformance too. In the latest first survection 2019, the rank of Gantok in Sikkim is 275 out of 425 cities in the country. Niti I report and the School Education Quality Index 2019 shows that Sikkim with 43% score in the seventh worst performance out of the total 28 state. Next, National Nutrition Survey 2016 to 2018 found that the percentage of stunting among children aged between 0 to 4 years is almost 22% in Sikkim. On top of this, there, are, there was a conscious manipulation of development strategic production of fake data and Perceptual hype in achievement. For example, the latest UN Niti I report and SDG index shows that the people below poverty line in Sikkim now stands at 8.19%. Household having improved, source of drinking water is 100%, and rural household with individual household toilet is 100%. All this is a sound show, alluring and perfect. However, the two this far away from this rosy statistics, we are working to provide more real and attestable statistics. All this brought a high degree of compliance at all levels and to, to a large extent, Sikkim was deprived of development, funding and other resources. Our government is hardly nine months old. We are taking the SDGs achievement very seriously, scientifically and comprehensively. This is reflected in our very first interim budget and various policy announcement. Then after, we want to transform the historical type development narrative about the North East region as a development regard to a growth and prosperity pivot. We would likely sustainably come out of the cycle and stigma of protected low growth and blatant underdevelopment. We are trying to make critical intervention that have cross SDGs characteristic and effectiveness. For instance, how scientific propagations of organic culture, community-based farming, effective market leakages, and proper multi-modal connectivity would at one go improve the performance in a range of SDGs and achievement across from poverty to health gender equality to sustainable consumption and partnership in climate action. We have an unparalleled advantage in areas like traditional 
medicinal system based health amenities, culture ecology and biodiversity based tourism and renewable energy we sell galvanize all this core importance as instrument to be a part of value chain negotiations in the ICG's attention. We have used surplus generation of electricity now. However, the nature of contact and agreement with the power producer do not give us enough space in terms of revenue mobilization. We therefore are taking our, our unorthodox measures, the setting of a grid interconnection with Bhutan, Nepal and also Bangladesh through West Bengal and Tripura and the Ministry of Power inspiring Coalition power trading with these countries issued in December 2018 have relocated the potential of Sikkim in terms of power trading with these neighboring also. Over 15 lakhs tourists visit our state every year, yet we are not able to get adequate revenue to even maintain the infrastructure for short duration of their state. Seasonality in tourism, low per capita spending by tourists and limited geographical destination are major constraints. We are now planning a transformative approach like Bhutan. We are identifying and floating special high value tourism corridor with exclusive attraction like this in includes opening our fiberless West Sikkim to connect with some fascinatingly beautiful spot in neighboring eastern Nepal. We now plan to attack and engage with the global multilateral institution and philanthropic institution and national private players much more elaborately and intimately we are in engaging investors in clean sustainable development and green projects including in areas like horticulture, floriculture, tradition, medicine system, energy, climate change management and also services sector like health, cinema and education. We really have to engage with stock development fund, Asian, Baptist and Bean fund, AIRB and many other. Even India is basis on act is policy. If Vietnamese are attacked to the coffee plantation, if men men marries and Nepalis are willing to invest in tradition medicines system, if Japanese are interested in mountain port, if high industries want to invest in floriculture and Singaporean and Buddhist circuit tourism, we would we would heartily welcome them. We would ask Government of India to bring some amendment in the Northeast Industrial Development Scheme 2018 to extend some of this effective fiscal incentive to this investor and ultimately put this product in the Green Channel provision of India Asian Free Trade Agreement in order to professor plan scientifically manage and meticulously monitor the achievement of SDS. We are soon setting up Sikkim Development Reform Commission with expert civil society, private sector, NGOs and community leaders, our SDG indicator will be accessible to everyone across the world within next years or so. We therefore need a solid full support and professional guidance from Ministry of Development of Northeast Region, Niti Ayer and Northeast Council and Paris other line ministries and specialized institutions. I once again thank you for your kind indulgence. Jai Hind, Jai.